Okay, the next one that we want to try to cover is the divergence of a vector A written as del dot A, okay? And the same as the gradient of scala, we solve according to the coordinate that we use. Actually, uh, from this until towards the end of the um, course, you need to know which coordinate suitable to be used, okay? Now we go to the divergence of a vector A written as del dot A, okay? Remember, del dot A is actually, when we <coughs> dot, is actually cos, right? When we cos, for example, cos 0 means parallel is 1. But if it's orthogonal from each other, it is 0, okay? So, now we go to the page where we discuss about the divergence, okay? The divergence of A at the given P is the outward flux per unit volume as the volume shrinks about p okay so um you can guys can have a read here and we try, uh, we go directly to the question okay we go for the uh, determine the divergence of the following vector field and evaluate them at the specified point okay so here they give us the vector a which is y z x direction plus 4x y y direction plus y z direction at 1 negative 2 and 3 point okay so the question determine the the divergence of the following vector fields and evaluate them at the specified points okay so now we del okay remember and uh, a and this one you see x y z right so it is cartesian coordinates so x sorry okay remember just now you remember right cos zero means parallel it is one cos 90 it is zero okay so here we take uh, this okay first we try to memorize again that we have this is actually the del operator right okay when this one and when del dot vector then you get the you only obtain the value for the one that is parallel, okay? The same direction for this one, D, differentiate of D over DX and X direction means you can only differentiate this with this, okay? Like this one, you can only differentiate with this one and this one, you can differentiate with this one because if they are orthogonal, for example, DX and this one, it will result in zero, okay? So, because... Uh, go back to the definition of the dot itself okay we see first i try to see the page of the dots okay okay the vector triple products um, Okay, you can try to see at the dot here, okay, the vector A dot vector B, okay, eh, sorry, vector B is actually A, B, cos, theta, right? This is smallest angle. You can see from the dot, it's uh, cos, okay, cos. So anything as uh, parallel will be 1, and if it's orthogonal, they are 0, okay? So here... You see, differentiate of this, okay, differentiate of this. You get differentiate, okay, the component, differentiate of the y component for xy. Differentiate of y, okay. Mm. 
then you have what when you differentiate y z what you have okay this become just like a number so you have y z right i'm oh, sorry it is zero okay imagine this is number okay because you don't have x here anymore okay and then plus you see y there is still y so differentiate of y then you get 4x imagine this is just like a number 4x and differentiate d over dy y so you only left with one So at this point, and then the equation evaluate them at specified point. Okay, at specified point. So at negative one, negative two, and three. So at this one, what is the the value? Okay, it is zero plus four, one plus one, which is five. Okay. You differentiate y d over dy of the y, okay? That's why you have 1 here. d over dy, differentiate 4xy, that's why you have 4x. Differentiate d, of, differentiate d dx of yz, you don't have the x component, so it's can imagine just like a number, so that's why it is 0, okay? Thank you. You can try the other example. Okay, for the B and for the C. Okay, this is the answers. You can try at your own convenience. Um, this one, basically, you solve it using um, cylindrical coordinates. And this one, you solve it using spherical coordinates. Thank you.